Good morning guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Saturday morning, I just woke up and um, I wanted to fix breakfast for the next two days. Um, I like to usually do something that will kind of go into the following day of the weekend but then sometimes Jeff wants to make us pancakes or waffles but today I'm gonna show you all how to make this sweet potato hash um, my friend Chris he messaged me and he was like hey you need to try this recipe it's like this chipotle sweet potato hash and I looked at it um, and it looks really good but I'm just gonna add my own thing to it and um, I'm gonna add a few more ingredients that sound Sounded really good so for the sweet potato hash you will need you'll need some spinach you'll need a green pepper you'll need sweet potatoes red onion I got hot Italian sausage then we have maple syrup chipotle's and adobo sauce olive oil and some salt so we're kind of putting a spin on this it should be really easy so the first thing that I'm gonna do is grab um, a sheet pan all right guys, and just because I have the worst sheet pans, I am going to just line it with some aluminum foil. Copeland decided to take our aluminum foil off the roll, so parts of it is so crunchy and oh, It's okay though, it's the joy, it's the joy of having children. Okay, I just put the aluminum foil down and then I'm just gonna take some olive oil and I'm gonna drizzle it all over. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a peeler and then we're gonna start peeling the sweet potatoes and then we're just gonna chop them up. Dad. What dad do? Dad do is asleep, baby. He's asleep. And while we're at it, go ahead and set your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, sweet potatoes are all cut. I used four guys, looking good. Next, I'm gonna chop up uh, a red onion and we're gonna put that in the sweet potatoes as well. And then we're gonna chop up one green bell pepper. We have all our veggies on here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spread them out. Make sure everything is incorporated well. This looks really good. So to me, the awesome thing about the recipe is that if you are vegetarian, you don't have to add the Italian sausage. Um, so you can kind of make it work for you, but we eat meat. So we're doing um, hot Italian sausage because we also like nice spicy food and Copeland even loves spicy food too. So um, I just like that you can play around with it. I'm doing four sweet potatoes because I want it for today and tomorrow. And then Jeff can even have some for lunch on Monday if he wanted to. So I just like to cook, you know, in, in bigger amounts. And honestly, that's the only way I know how to cook. I'm, I'm like steadily trying to train myself how to cook for like, three people but it's it's a little difficult so I just still cook big and then we just have food left over that lately we're just we're really getting through it and we're eating it so if you're just like a small family just do two sweet potatoes instead of four and if you're by yourself um, you can still do two and then have it for the next day all right guys now it's time to make the the olive oil mixture um, with the chipotles for the sweet potatoes and then they're gonna go and bake so fourth cup maple syrup and then I'm gonna do half of that so an eighth of olive oil I'm just put that right in the bowl and then we're gonna do about two to three tablespoons of the chipotle Okay, so I'm definitely thinking about three tablespoons, but just the sauce. I'm not even going to add in the peppers this time. Okay, and now we're just going to stir that up. Now we're going to take this mixture and then just pour it all over our yummy 
sweet potatoes. Just gonna stir it all around. Guys, you totally don't have to use three tablespoons of the adobo. You can do one, you can do two. It's really just whatever you like. It's more of a smoky type of flavor. It's not really hot. So it's definitely like on the spicy side, but nothing like burn your face off. Go straight into the oven. So let's do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm so excited. And we're gonna let that bake probably anywhere from about 30 to 40 minutes. So guys, another thing that I like to do is once I'm done with my chipotle peppers, I like to put them in a freezer bag and then I could put them in the freezer for my next recipe. Then all you have to do is take them out, thaw them, boom. You don't, don't throw away your stuff, guys. Don't throw it away guys so in a pan over like medium high heat you're gonna go ahead and add your Italian sausage so once your Italian sausage is like 80 to 90 percent cooked what you're gonna do is you're gonna take like a handful to two handfuls of your spinach and you're just gonna put it right on in there okay I'm gonna do one more because it's going to wilt, and then just start Stirring that in, okay? okay? And that's all done. Yum! Okay guys, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna hit broil for just a couple of minutes so that the top of the sweet potatoes can get that nice, yummy, brown color. And then um, take it out, add the meats, and then it's ready to go. This is what it looks like coming out of the oven. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our meat and we're just gonna add it. Ooh wee, this looks good guys. Oh my gosh, like if you are into hash, you're gonna love this. This is what it looks like all mixed in. So it's time to taste. I am so excited. Oh my God, this stuff looks so good. Mm. Guys, that is so good. <clears throat> that is amazing, cause you get that like sweetness and then you get like the spice from the sausage and the chipotle. Mm. I'm here for it. If you guys are egg people, have an egg with it if you want to. I don't eat eggs, but I can tell that this would just be bomb. Oh my God. Guys, go ahead and make it. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description box so you guys can follow it and uh, tell me what you think. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Is it good? Is it good? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. The movie was amazing. Black. <laughs> it was so. It was a great movie. It was so it's, it's, it's good. It was so good. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Come on, bring it, Chris. Let's get it.